In the northern cape of South Africa, we have our ca uh, manganese mines now perched on this pretty, uh, I'd say maybe a medium grade manganese ore. We have tiny, tiny uh, uh, furballs of tiny fibrous sugilite crystals. Now, although the mines are all interlinking, so that's the Channing mines and vessels, they all interlink at some shaft or some point. Uh, typically, the uh, uh, crystalline sugilite, as you see here, uh, would be from the Channing II deposit, whereas the, the sugilite in matrix, uh, which we use for jewelry, etc., or for cabbing, uh, would be from the Vessels Mine, uh, a famous locality for the sugilite. But this would be from the Channing II mine. These are tiny, tiny little crystals of sugilite sitting on here. So this is now the one way of displaying this guy. Uh, we have on the other side, as I turn it over, we have another crystalline section over here, which is also quite appealing. Of course, under under close magnifications, you'll clearly see little sprays of these, well, off blue or purple, or I'm not sure what we, we talk of with this color. Um, here you'd have little bushes, and there you'd have little sprays sitting on the matrix. Now, when we go on a cross section, that's pretty barren ore. Let's go around like this. There are also some tiny little sugilite crystals sitting on this matrix. So when one trims this material, you'll often find crevices with uh, a tiny, tiny sugilite. Um, well, this would have been from a cross section. Uh, so you'd find the, the platelets here, and then on the open sections, you'd find the little fur balls of the sugilite crystals.